Welcome to the Arithmetic Zone and welcome back to our lessons on L'Hopital's Rule. So in a quick review of what we covered in part one of L'Hopital's Rule, essentially we looked at a bunch of limits and we evaluated them to find that they would result in the indeterminate forms of either zero over zero or infinity over infinity. And every example we covered in that video had that happen. So we were able to take the derivative of the numerator and denominator and then evaluate the limit again. In this video, we're going to look at limits where it does not result in indeterminate forms 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, and we'll be seeing some other indeterminate forms. When this happens, we have to find another way to rewrite these limit expressions, and we have to resort to more creative ways in order to evaluate these questions. So let's begin with this first example. It says example 6, which is technically continued from part 1, but for this video, it's example 1. So we have the limit of x times natural log of x as x approaches 0. And in this little plus um, superscript, what this represents is that we're approaching x to the value of 0 from the right side and only the right side. So let me just draw a little graph. Now this is not how x times ln of x looks. I'm just gonna draw um I'm just gonna draw a basic piecewise like this. So when it says zero plus, we're approaching x to the value of zero, but only from the right side. So if we start from the right side and go to zero, which is right here, this is what the limit would be from the right side. And if it said 0 minus, like if this plus was a minus, we'd be looking from the left side. So it'd be right here. Now, if there is no mark, if it's just a number, then you have to look at both the left and right sides. And if they don't match, then the limit does not exist. But anyway, that aside, let's get into solving this limit. So the first step as for any limit problem, is to evaluate the limit by substituting in the value of x that they give you. So if we were to do that, we would get 0 times natural log. And this is why the plus is so important, because natural log of 0 does not exist. The graph of ln of x, it looks like this, where right here, where it crosses the x-axis, is 1. It never actually reaches the value of 0. And that's why it's saying eva evaluate um, approaching 0 from the right side. So if we were to go down from the right side, if we were to have ln of 0 plus, essentially it goes to negative infinity. So this evaluates the 0 times negative infinity. And in our previous video, we said that this is one of the indeterminate forms of evaluating limits. It was 0 times infinity, but 0 times negative infinity is basically the same thing. But this is not um, 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So we're going to have to rewrite this whole expression to an equivalent expression that could maybe result in a different indeterminate form. So a common way to rewrite these limits when you encounter this problem is if you have a function multiplied by x instead of multiplying it by x let's divide it by 1 over x so we now have ln of x over 1 over x and these two expressions are equivalent to each other because we're dividing by the reciprocal of this value so these would evaluate to the same limit but now if you were to try to substitute in the 0 plus, well, ln of 0 plus, that'd be negative infinity. And 1 over 0 plus, or, so if we were to approach 0 from the right side, um, that value would keep on getting smaller and smaller. And when your denominator keeps getting smaller and smaller, the value of this whole fraction would get larger and larger. So negative infinity over infinity. And yes, we do have a negative sign. But that doesn't really matter in this case. And this matches with one of the indeterminate forms of L'Hopital's rule, infinity over infinity. So now that we finally managed to get to that step, we can finally just evaluate the derivatives of the numerator and denominator. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. And the derivative of 1 over x, or x to the negative first power, would be negative 1 over x squared. 
Now let's rewrite this so that it's easier to work with. Um, we have a double decker fra fraction right here, so what we can do is 1 over x and multiply it by the reciprocal, which would be negative x squared over 1. And rewrite that again um, with the same limit. It'd be negative x squared over x, or, and we can simplify this even further, we would have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of negative x. Because we can just subtract the exponent right here. This is just the same thing as x to the first power. 2 minus 1 is 1. We're just left with negative x to the first power. And taking the limit of that is pretty easy. It's just negative 0 or just plain old 0. And that would be the final answer of this um, whole question. In our second example for today, this time we're taking x and approaching it to infinity. And we have ln of x minus ln of 1 plus x. So let me just redraw the graph of ln of x, if you don't remember. Looks like this. And even though it looks like it flattens out, it actually increases without bounds. So if you were to take x and approach it and increase it indefinitely, then ln of x would also increase indefinitely. So if you were to basically substitute an infinity, it would just result in infinity minus infinity. And this is another indeterminate form, but again, it's not something we can use L'Hopital's rule on, so we have to rewrite this whole limit expression. So if you think back to your not natural log properties, whenever you have the subtraction of two natural logs like this, what you can do is combine them into one natural log and divide by the terms in that order. So ln of x over 1 plus x. And if we were to look inside, x over 1 plus x is a rational function. And we can definitely, um, we can definitely derive an actual limit value from that. So what we can do is move the natural log outside of the whole expression. And I apologize for how, I, how I'm drawing today. So ln of the limit as x approaches infinity of x over 1 plus x. And, you know, if you were to substitute an infinity directly, this would just result in infinity over infinity. And then the x would turn into a 1. And then this x, this 1 plus x would also turn into a 1. So essentially, because they share the same common um, power of 1 and x approaches infinity, this whole expression would evaluate to 1. So we have ln of 1 left over. And ln of 1 right here, that's where 1 occurs. The graph of ln of x um, touches the x-axis. It crosses it. So that means ln of 1 is 0. And then this is actually our final answer for this whole question. Finally, this is going to be our last example for today. We have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side of 1 plus x all being to the power of 1 over x. So this is definitely a strange question, but again, the first step is to substitute in the value that x approaches to into the expression. So we have 1 plus 0 all being to the power of 1 over 0 from the right side. So basically the denominator keeps getting smaller and smaller. So this whole fraction keeps getting larger and larger. So we can simplify this whole thing to 1 to the power of infinity. Now that might make sense, you know, you would think it's just uh, 1 being multiplied forever and ever, but this is still an indeterminate form and we still have to rewrite this whole expression so that we could we may possibly use L'Hopital's rule on it. So this one's definitely a little harder to figure out. There's no natural log properties we can um, look toward. There's no way to... Um, divide by the reciprocal of a function. But what we can do is because this whole thing is being exponentiated by this function, what we can do is add in a natural log to our expression. So let's rewrite our limit again. 
and let's add in our natural log. And the significance of this is that when you have this natural, when you have a natural log of a function, if it's being to the power of something, you can actually move this power, um, move it as a coefficient of the whole expression. So we have 1 over x times ln of 1 plus x. And we can uh, rewrite this even further by saying the limit as x approaches 0. And let me just add in the plus signs before I forget them again. So we write this even further as ln of 1 plus x all over x. So if we were to substitute in 0 this time, we'd get ln of 1 plus 0 over 0. And ln of 1, we've already established, is 0. So we get 0 over 0. And this is in an indeterminate form that we can use L'Hopital's rule on, thankfully. So now all we do is just take the derivative of the numerator and denominator. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side. And a derivative of ln of 1 plus x, well, it'd be the derivative of what's inside over the original. So the derivative of x plus 1 is just going to be 1. And then we have that all over 1 plus x. And then the derivative of x is just 1. So really, it's just 1 over 1 plus x. And if we were to substitute in 0 again, we would get... 1 over 1 plus 0, or just 1 over 1, and that evaluates to 1. Now, is this our final answer? Well, that would be true if our question started from this step, the natural log of 1 plus x um, to the power of 1 over x. But remember, this was what our original question was. And when we added this natural log to deal with this, to deal with this exponent, we basically just changed the whole function. So we have to now cancel out the properties of ln. And how do we cancel out a natural log? Well, we use e. We exponentiate by e. So we take our final answer and we take e and make that make this answer be the exponent. So e to the first power to cancel out that ln we put in the question. And then we get our final answer is e. And that is our real final answer, not one. So make sure every time you use natural log to move the exponent to as a coefficient in front of the expression, make sure you use e at the end to cancel out um, the natural log that you used. So that's going to be it for this video and for this um, L'Hopital series. We'll, I'll see you guys again next week for a new math video, or maybe Angel will make another one. I'm not too sure yet, but hope you guys have a nice day and enjoy it.